Hey guys, Vincent Rose here, H2G Fitness, coming to you from behind the wheel of my car. I hope everybody's having an incredible day today. I'm out bobbing around and wanted to record a really quick video for you guys. And the topic is how to eat to your heart's desire on Thanksgiving Day without 100% blowing your diet and gaining a bunch of weight and feeling guilty and all this kind of stuff, right? Very simple thing to do. Um, this would have been a video that would have been better serving, all right, if I would have put it out a day or two earlier, but I did not get around to recording it and posting it until now. So hopefully you'll still be able to use some of the information in here. So, okay, let's get into it. How to eat, eat as much as you want and not gain any weight and feel guilty about it. First thing you have to understand, how you actually gain weight. And it's a very, very, very simple concept. You eat more than what your body needs to maintain itself. So you're eating above your maintenance level. You'll begin to store those extra calories in some way, shape, or form, whether it be fat, muscle, whatever it might be, okay? So with that being said, once you understand this, you can then figure out what your maintenance level of calories is. And once you know that, you can then just start doing some very simple, basic math, play around with some numbers, and you'll be good to go. So here's my approach, and here's how I'd go about it. Let's just say um, your maintenance level of calories is 2,000, okay? You're a lighter person. You probably weigh, I don't know, 140, 150 pounds, something like that. And you can get away with eating 2,000 calories a day. That's your maintenance level. The day before Thanksgiving, which is the day that I'm putting this out, I would just eat a thousand calories under your maintenance level. So you're going to eat a thousand calories for the day. Yes, that's, you know, an extreme deficit, but it's only for one day. So you're not quote unquote starving yourself and you're not doing it for a significant period of time. You're just eating a thousand calories less that day. No big deal. What you've just done is you've allotted yourself thousand calories that you can put in later. Then the day of Thanksgiving, eat a 500 calorie breakfast. And so you still have 1,500 calories left for the day before you're at your maintenance level. And take the 1,500 calories that you have left on Thanksgiving Day and take the 1,000 calorie wiggle room you gave yourself from the day before. And now you have just created a situation where you can eat 2,500 calories in one sitting at Thanksgiving dinner and you won't gain one pound. You won't gain one ounce of weight, true weight, You'll gain some water weight because it's going to be a high sodium meal, which will make you retain water. But as far as true weight, fat or muscle, you won't gain one stinking ounce of weight and you're eating 2,500 calories in one sitting. And so this is very simple stuff. Once you understand the concept of how to gain weight and how to lose weight, once you figure out what your maintenance level is, once you discipline yourself to track your calories and you know where you're at, right? you can begin to manipulate your food, which will manipulate your body at will. And it's not even a stressful or hard or complicated thing to do. You're just playing around with basic numbers. So my recommendation to you is on Thanksgiving, eat and eat lots, lots and lots and lots and lots of food. Do not be the weirdo around your family saying, I'm on a diet and start counting your calories and pulling out freaking my fitness pal at Thanksgiving dinner. That's retarded, right? Life is short uh, and you only get so many Thanksgivings in a lifetime. Enjoy every single stinking one of them. If you're in contest prep, right, and you're eight weeks out from a show or under, your butt better stick to your freaking diet or you're gonna get hosed whenever you step on stage. But other than that, if you're just your typical dieter trying to lose some weight, eat and eat lots and eat till you make yourself sick. It's okay, right? However, you can do it in a manner where you don't have to worry about gaining any weight and it's by manipulating some numbers of what you're consuming and what you're not consuming the day of and the day before and the day before that if you want to. So very simple concept. Um, hopefully, you know, you're able to apply some of this stuff. If it's too, you know, if you're not watching this until late Wednesday night and you don't get a chance to apply this information for Thanksgiving, apply it for Christmas, apply it next year, apply it for, you know, the next time that, you know, there's a special event coming up where, you know, you're gonna be eating a bunch of unhealthy food in one sitting. This, you can apply this all the time, and you should. I do anyways. So with that, Vincent Rose, H2G Fitness. Uh, future's bright. Something good is happening. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, and you'd like to like and or share it, won't be mad at you at all. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, ideas, any of these things, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do so. So you guys be blessed. Uh, one more thing. I am a prior... Um, 
I, I, I used to, I, prior active duty, I used to serve in the United States Navy, and I still live here in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and I live in Hampton Roads, which is primarily a military area. And uh, if you are somebody that's watching this that's deployed right now, and you're not going to be spending Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all these things with your family, your kids, uh, your mom, dad, brother, sisters, aunts, all this kind of stuff, and you're paying a price uh, so that people like me and others that are watching this can, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, and I don't take it for granted at all, even one little bit. So appreciate you. Thank you for my freedom, and with that, I'm out. You guys be blessed. Bye.